Thank you again for joining us. And um, like we said, Marcia, we're welcoming Xavier Williams. I have known him for maybe the last two years now. Just we're trying to get some some closings done together. But ultimately, if we can get you guys um, acclimated with him and hopefully that you guys can do business with Xavier as well. He's always been professional, always been on it, no matter what I have sent to him, clients that were um, struggling with some things. Sometimes Xavier has always went above and beyond the call of duty to help uh, my clients as much as he possibly could. And so that's one of the reasons I selected him as one of CORE's um, preferred lenders. And he has made the move to Bank OZK. And Xavier, if you could just share a little bit, like you were sharing with me earlier, as to why you moved to OZK, we may get some other agency in while you're you're talking. Welcome. I think you went mute. I got to make sure I remember to click unmute. Okay. So, um, <laughs> Hello, everybody. It is so great to uh, be on here uh, with your team, Core Realty and Associates. Um, again, I'm Xavier Williams. If I haven't met um, all of you before, um, but I look forward to assisting you and helping you in any way possible. Um, I've been a lender now for about close to 15, 16 years, um, and I've done it with different banks now. I made a transition over to Bank OZK. Um, so it is a depository lender. I don't know if any of you bank with um, Bank OZK or have done any business with Bank OZK in the past. Mm -hmm. um, but um, Bank OZK has been in um, business since 1903. So it's not a new bank. It's a it's a very established bank. And we're just our presence is starting to become more open um, in Georgia. And so once the market started to shift last year um, is when I made the decision to come over to the bank. Um, mm -hmm with the regular lenders. Um, I've done a lot of business that way, but just because of everyone knows it was a little bit slower and things like that. I made a transition over the OZK because of the products and things that they had that I thought would be able to help a lot of people and kind of really encourage people to try to purchase now in spite of the fact that interest rates um, have been interest rating mm -hmm. um, you know, for the last uh, year or two. And, um, People needed more incentives to come and Bank OZ get, OZK has some aggressive products to really help people out. So I really wanted to come over here and make that transition. And uh, that's the reason why I moved over here now. I've been here since September okay. of last year and things are going great. And so I'm excited to give you all some information about it. Very good. Very good. Thank you. So you mentioned a lot of products that OZK has. And mm -hmm. if you would just kind of give us a list or just kind of explain what those products are and how they can help our clients in situations that you typically have seen and how OZK has, you know, what's the difference between their products and some of the other companies you've worked with? Because we do have some relationships with a couple of other um, lenders, but of course we all know that our, our clients, we tell our clients to shop around and absolutely we want to make sure that we're giving them the best products and not just products, but the best lenders that can help them walk through the process as well. Sure. Absolutely. So shopping is definitely something I encourage people to do. I don't see anything, any problem with that. When it comes to someone looking to purchase a home, um, my main goal is that they get the best of whatever's out there uh, mm -hmm. for them. Um, whether it's rate, um, whether it's down payment assistance, whether it's, you know, whatever they're looking for, um, they want to make sure that they get the best. And the only way you get that is to shop. Um, with Oz when, when it comes to me, because I've been in the business for a long time, I mean, there's really not too much that you can ask for that I wouldn't be able to direct you in, whether it's building from the ground up, um, construction of perm, um, bank statement loans, um, you know, if for self-employed, uh, mm -hmm. you know, investor loans, DSCR, where, where you know, instead of looking at the person's income, because, you know, a lot of people who are self-employed, their taxes and things like that, um, you know, we just look at the home. As long as the rent of the home is, uh, the, the the amount that the home is going to be rented at is more than the actual mortgage, 
that um, of the home, then we can qualify them based off of their income. We don't have to look at any income documents and things like that for things wow. um, in regards to those. So the more unique programs and things like that, um, the ones I mentioned, uh, mm -hmm. FHA, USA, USDA, conventional, VA loans, all those different types of things, you can ask me about absolutely anything. And if it's something that I necessarily don't have here at the bank, I can guide you to it. Mm -hmm. But the thing that I want to focus on today when it comes to Bank OZK is we have a mortgage called the Freedom Advantage Mortgage. OK, OK, OK. This is a good program because, number one, it's 100 percent financing. So mm -hmm. your clients would not need a down payment. Um, really? Yes, there's no down payment needed on that one. And then not only that, there's no um, primary, there's no PMI, there's no mortgage insurance for, it, all right? Wow. Um, a lot of times when people come with um, certain credit scores and things like that, they'll be looked at as an FHA loan. Mm -hmm. Another thing about this program is that when someone goes through this program, it's, it's a conventional loan as well. So um, it doesn't necessarily go through the conventional standards Mm -hmm. However, you'll be able to put on your contract, the person is approved with conventional. All right. So right. the biggest thing about it is that it's 100 percent financing. Once again, there's no down payment and then there's also no mortgage insurance for it. All right. Mm -hmm. So the caveats in regards to this one um, with credit standards, it's a, it's a little bit more strict because it is 100 percent financing program. You're going to be looking at someone with a 660 credit score. All right. So if they have a 660 credit score or above, we could potentially qualify them with this mortgage. If their score is under that all the way down to a 600 credit score, mm -hmm. then we can still um, approve them with the program. But it is a 3% down payment on that program. And oh, wow. that's that's lower than FHA um, at 3%, 3.5%. And it's still considered a conventional loan. And as everyone knows, conventional has a product that you can put 3% down on. But mm -hmm. if you put it 3% down with a conventional loan, you're going to have to be 680 at a minimum, probably like even in the 700s to qualify that. This is allowing someone to come in, qualify for it with a lower, um, with a lower score and then still have no mortgage insurance. Wow. So it's going to be able to help them out with their monthly payment um, and their down payment. All right. And before I go any further, because um, there's more that I want to explain on that, does anybody have any questions on anything I just said in regards to that? I do. Um, this is by Shira. Um, and Hello, thank you Shira. for coming. Thank sure. Hello. Um, I wanted to get the name of it again. You said it's called the Freedom What? Freedom Advantage Mortgage. Okay. And then you at Freedom then you Advantage. said that there is um, 100 percent financing, no PMI. And what was the last thing you said? 100% financing and no PMI. Those are the two things I've mentioned so far, and I'm about to go in a little bit more detail. Okay, that's what I have. Thank you. You're welcome. You got any questions, Marcia? Thank no, you. No, I, I was typing it as he was speaking. This sounds got good. You. I'm excited mm -hmm. to hear more. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, a couple of things about this. Um, these are programs that can be coupled with other programs, right? So say you have the someone's trying to purchase a home in the city of Atlanta. We mm -hmm. can use the Atlanta Housing Authority program that gives them twenty thousand dollars on top of that, twenty to twenty five thousand. Mm -hmm. So if they're looking to purchase in the city, they can do it with no down payment um, or the three percent down, depending on their score. No primary mortgage insurance, plus get an extra twenty thousand on top of that, which is going to cover all closing costs. If it is a three percent down payment, it'll cover the down payment um, and anything left over would just go more to pay off down the home. All right. Hmm. Um, we also have another program that we couple with this. It's called the Federal Home Loan Bank Program. And that program now, because we're at the beginning of the year, I'm really trying to get this message out to realtors so they know about the Freedom Advantage mortgage so they can couple it with the Federal Home Loan Bank because the Federal Home Loan Bank is not a program that's limited to the city of Atlanta. Oh. So and they give twenty thousand dollars as well. Right. Hmm. So you could so you could potentially have someone that's coming to use this program and then they're also getting another twenty thousand dollars on top of that as well up to twenty thousand with that one to help them cover all closing costs and things and the minimum amount of money that someone needs to use to go through our program is only five hundred dollars with most down payment assistance programs it's like you know fifteen hundred that they need and of course mm -hmm. that's probably going to be covered on their earnest money alone so mm -hmm. 
they potentially are going to have to come in, do earnest money, um, an appraisal, and a home inspection, and then that's all they'll need. So they'll be able to come in and purchase a home with, you know, the funds that they have, and they don't have to extend their funds. Okay, so you're. Um, I'm sorry. One quick question. Sure. All right. So the federal home loan bank is a mm -hmm. separate program right. that can be coupled with this initial program you mentioned. The right. advantage. Okay. And so this is considered a. Um. What did you say? A down payment assistance program. Yes, the federal okay. home loan bank. Atlanta Housing Authority, those programs like that are um, Clayton County, um, you know, things like that. Those are down payment assistance programs. Yes. OK. And Our program is a program that we have. And I don't know. I don't know. if Am I able to share my screen? Yes. Yes, you can. OK. If you can, if you want to, I can. You go ahead and share yours. It should take over this screen. All right. Let me see if I can. Okay, I think it's saying it's disabled on your end. All right, hold on. But it's okay, I can talk, I can talk through it. Oh. But yes, uh, what question were you about to ask? Oops, I went too far. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I wanted to, um, with the down payment assistance program, mm -hmm. it is a fee, a $500 fee. Well, no, it's not a fee. That's oh, with okay. down payment assistance programs, most of them have, there's a minimum amount of investment that the person who's purchasing the home has got to invest in order to use the program. Okay. So the majority of the programs out there, whether it's Shanoa, Georgia mm -hmm. Dream, any of these other things, they have to spend um, $1,500 of their money at least. So mm -hmm. they got to have at least that. With our program, the Freedom Advantage Mortgage, it's only $500. Okay. So, so they have to at least put $500 of their money into the deal for it to be able to use the program. And of course, okay. as I said, that's going to be covered because I don't think anybody's doing, um, you know, earnest money less than a thousand. Right. So of course, you know, they could potentially come just with their regular things that they have to pay out of pocket, earnest money, appraisal, home inspection, if they choose to get that mm -hmm. and then not need anything else and use this program. If they qualify for the freedom advantage, the Federal Home Loan Bank, City of Atlanta, or any other programs that we can couple with it. Okay, very good. And that has a minimum credit score as well. Um, it's 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 what ours is um, with okay. the Freedom Advantage Mortgage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, Miriam. All we right. got any additional questions? Nope. All right. All right. So yeah, so um, it's a fixed rate. Um, mortgage that comes with this program. So it's nothing adjustable. Um, as I said, the minimum credit score for the 100% financing where they have no down payment, um, no PMI is 660. But then the one where they're only putting 3% down, the minimum credit score for that one is, is 600. All right. Okay. So of course, everyone knows that, you know, um, the minimum credit score that people can purchase with, and I'm going outside of our program now, just when you're talking about every other lender, you might not hear is a 500 credit score. People can qualify with a 500 credit score with FHA if they're doing 10% down. Hmm. But majority of our FHA buyers aren't putting 10% down. So, I mean, that is something that's possible. But majority of the time, what you're going to hear is the minimum credit score with FHA is a 580. So if someone does come um, at a 580 score uh, between 580 and 599, um, we'll either try to see what we can do to help them get their score up. And if that's not necessarily possible and they do qualify for there, then we can refer them to different places where, you know, they can qualify with a score where it is at that at that state. All right. OK. These are for um, owner occupied residences. All right. So this isn't going to be for second homes or um, investment properties for these 100 percent and 3 percent down programs. Um, as everyone know, if you're doing a second home, the minimum down payment with that one is 10% um, mm -hmm. on a second home and on an investment property, it's anywhere from 15 to 20%. Because rates have been higher, um, I've been seeing people have to do anywhere from like 20 to 25 cent, 20 to 25% down on a second home or investment property, just mm -hmm. because rates are and things like that. But once they come down, it'll probably become more normal. But the program I'm talking about now is for people who's purchasing a primary residence. Okay. 
Uh, another good thing is that this is for uh, one two two unit uh, properties, single family homes. Okay, so they can't buy a duplex um, and use this uh, product on a on a townhome, condominiums, things like that. This is um, this is possible for them to use that as well. And then oh. um, I don't know if I mentioned it yet. Were you about to say something, Latoya? No, no, no. I was saying okay. I think. Okay. So writing that down. That's good. Okay, gotcha. Another thing is, is that um, this, you do not have to be a first time home buyer to purchase this. All right. Mm -hmm. You can, you can literally own another property as long as it's an investment property. Um, and it's not your primary residence. Cause of course we know you can't have two primary residences, but you can use this program um, and not be a first time home buyer. So for your people who are selling homes, Mm -hmm. uh, or now majority of the time, if they're selling homes, they're going to have the money for a down payment. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, if they don't have the, to use it, their mm -hmm. money that they just made from the selling of their home or something like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, why not put them in something where they don't have to have a down payment or just do 3% down, right. um, you know, to purchase another home. All right. right? It makes sense. And again, this is being looked at as this is looked at as a conventional loan. And we all know that if you're doing a, if you're a conventional buyer and you're looking to buy another home after you have owned a home within the past three years, then mm -hmm. you have to put 5% down. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So just, if you have anybody who's going conventional and they've been told they have to put 5% down, it will be great to have them consider this program where mm -hmm. they potentially have no down payment at all or 3% down depending on their credit score. Mm -hmm. All right. Awesome. All right. Um, a couple of more things. Again, um, right now we know in this market, people are getting seller paid closing costs. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't, you know, I've, I've been seeing people really get aggressive amounts on their seller paid closing costs. Mm -hmm. So with a, with a conventional loan, a typical conventional loan, you can only ask for up to 3% of the sales price. Um, for seller paid closing costs on this program right here, it's considered a conventional, but you can ask all the way up to 6%, just like an FHA loan. Oh. So if you want to be aggressive on seller paid closing costs, you can ask for that as well, just to see if you can get it. And I mean, right now, I mean, as everybody knows in this market, because homes aren't moving as fast, mm -hmm. um, it doesn't hurt to ask. Yeah. You know, um, a lot of realtors um, when they're selling homes are, um, you know, positioning their sellers to say, hey, look, you're potentially yeah. going to have to hey. give out some money to sell or pay closing costs in this market to sell your home. Okay. So, good. you know, you can ask for up to 6%. Very good. That That's good to know because with some of the other programs, there is a cap on how much you can ask for seller concessions. So right. um, that 6% is still a, that's an excellent amount depending on the, the price of the house. That's great. Absolutely. So this program here is geared more towards the low to moderate income buyers. Okay. Um, you know, so there are certain areas. Um, so with this program, we're looking for people whose income is not over 80% of the area median income of the area that they're purchasing. Um, mm -hmm. However, there are some areas um, that we have people purchasing where there's, um, you know, 50% or more minority minority in that area or the income level for that area is considered low to moderate that wouldn't be something that i don't want any of you to try to figure out because again if you send someone to us and they don't qualify for this program it's not like we still can't help them or we can get them to someone who can help them mm -hmm. um however you know i just want you to know that i don't even want you to consider the income limits because there could be someone out there that's making two three hundred thousand dollars uh, but they're purchasing in a certain type of area that's in that LMI, low to moderate income track. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they can use this program, you know, mm -hmm. where they have no down payment or they have only 3% down. I mean, so there's been people who's purchased homes, um, 600,000, 700,000, mm -hmm. um, you know, higher than that, that's used our program because they're purchasing in the certain area. Okay. So, that Yeah. I'm sorry. That was one thing I wanted to know. Was there a cap on how much could be spent on a property? On In some areas, it's really going to depend on their the client's debt to income ratio, of course. But if you do have clients who um, do qualify for more, 
it will be good to send them uh, my way so I can check them out because depending on the area that they're purchasing in, if they're mm -hmm. purchasing in one of the areas, then they might be able to tap in and still use this program, which is a huge blessing to someone trying to purchase mm -hmm. uh, in those areas that are over the conventional limits and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, however, if they um, don't qualify for it, then of course we can still help or guide them to where they need to be. Okay. Sounds so, um, yeah, so I just want, so I'm, I'm a different type of lender, um, everyone. Um, a lot of people, when you're working with them, they're only going to, you know, they're like, come to me, come to me, come to me, mm -hmm. just work with me. I got everything. I can do everything. Of course, because, I mean, majority of lenders um, and um, loan officers, just like you, are 100% commission, mm -hmm. you know? So they're like, look, if you don't work with me and you're going to someone else, then, you know, I'm just going to lose or something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm different. Okay. I'm it's it's really about what's best for the client. Mm -hmm. Not all the time someone who's coming to me like I have the best thing for them. Mm -hmm. Like and if there's something out there that's better for them, I'm going to let them know. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm going to have them go to them and then compare with that to come back and see mm -hmm. which one do you want to do? Which one's best for you and I help guide them into that. Mm -hmm. So I don't want you to like think, okay, if I get someone at Xavier, I can't send them to someone else to compare. No, mm -hmm. I, I don't mind. Um, mm -hmm. I'll even have your people, like if you send someone to me, and like I said, if this doesn't work for them, or even if this does work for them, but there might be something else that they could potentially get that doesn't flow in line with this, I'm going to mm -hmm. say, hey, this is what this is. Here, try this out as well, because within 30 days mm -hmm. of getting your first mortgage credit pool, it's not going to affect your credit if you get other hits on your on your mortgage um, for a mortgage pool. Okay. So it's advantageous to you to, if you're going to do any shopping, do it within this time and try this out just to see if it will work. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I just want to let you know that sending someone to me is a safe space for your clients. It okay. really has nothing to do with if I'm going to help them out. It really has everything to do on what's best for that client mm -hmm. and their family. Because a 30 year mortgage is not something to play around with, you For know, sure. um, you know, it's it's I'm, I want to make sure that out of the integrity to make sure that they're getting the absolute best. I think our program is absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. That's why I tell everybody to try it out to see if it works for you. Mm -hmm. But if it's not and there's something else, I have people that I can refer you to or I might even call the realtor back and be like, hey, this might not work for them, but this might work for them. Do you know anybody in this? And as I said, I've been in the business for 16 years. I know majority mm -hmm. of the people in the industry. So I have people that I can get them to, but sometimes realtors have connections with other people that they want to keep and build. So mm -hmm. they might say, okay, well, let me try them out with my person right here. And mm -hmm. that's fine. Okay. Marcia has a question. Yes. I know with like, you know, with the down payment assistance program, it lowers the cost of what the client would qualify for since the freedom pays 100%, will that even lower the amount of qualification even more? Good question, because when you're when you're doing 100% financing, you're not putting a down payment down, which means that your debt to income ratio might be a little bit higher. But to be honest with you, I, I mean, I don't think it, I don't think, um, I don't think that's major enough for it to lower the amount that they're qualifying for. Um, and it just depends, like with, um, some programs out there, mm -hmm. the um, the what am I trying to say? The the debt to income ratio mm -hmm. um, with a regular FHA loan can go up to like around fifty six. The top is like fifty seven percent of their income. Mm -hmm. um, that the debt to income ratio can be. Okay. So sometimes when people are trying to qualify for more of a home, it might be better for them to just go with a regular FHA loan. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, because the debt to income ratio with the freedom advantage mortgage might limit them to around like 43%. Mm. So if they're coming and we're like, okay, look, you qualify for 300,000 with our program, you know, are you looking for a home in that range? And they're like, oh, well, I'm looking for more than 400 range or well, like 350, 375 or something like that. And then we're like, okay, well, with the FHA loan, you know, mm. then you can go up to higher Then you know, we'll let them know that. And that's why that's why I was saying what I was saying before. Um, when it comes to your client, it's a safe space. I'm ne like no one ever is going to come to um, a lender like myself 
and I'm going to say, hey, this is what you qualify for based off of our program, and then that's it. Mm -hmm. If there's something else more that they qualify for, I'm going to let them know, hey, with our program, this mm -hmm. is what you qualify for. If you went regular FHA, yes, you're going to have primary mortgage insurance um, and things like that. But you can go all the way up to here. So if you're looking in this range, mm -hmm. this is what you want to go with because this is going to be better for you. Lower monthly payment, no PMI, which sometimes not having primary mortgage insurance, mm -hmm. uh, Marcia sometimes kind of offsets that a little because that's a lower monthly payment for them. So their DTI normally is they're going to be able to stretch their purchase price a little bit more. But if they're looking outside of that range and they're looking for higher, then they always know that, OK, you can go regular FHA and then qualify for up to here. So it really just depends on the type of home that you find okay. you know, within that range. We'll get you a, a pre-approval letter for all the way up to your max that you can qualify for. But mm -hmm. the sweet spot is here. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you, if you find one under here. Mm -hmm. Then you can qualify for this. If not, then you know, just go regular FHA. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Very good, very good. So, can our clients come? Are you are you virtual with them, or can they actually come in office as well? Yes, they can actually come in an office. Of course, we service all of Georgia, so sometimes it might be a little bit far for them. If somebody's in Savannah or Rockmont or something like that, mm -hmm. um, but nonetheless, my office is in Buckhead. It's not too far from Lenox Mall. It's the Bank of OZK. Um, that's about like five minutes from Lenox Mall, mm -hmm. so they can always come in and see me. Um, majority of the time, it's virtual, especially starting off with your clients. Mm -hmm. uh, majority of realtors, once they've gotten to know me, they'll just... Um, send me a text message with the name and the phone number. Now I'll just text them back. I'm on it. I make mm -hmm. all the calls within 15 to 20 minutes. As long as I'm not dealing with another client, once I get off the phone with that client, I normally reach out to them. Mm -hmm. So, but my track record is within you sending me something within 15 minutes, I'm going to reach out to the client. Mm -hmm. If I don't get them, I'm going to leave a voicemail, text them. Um, and then not only that, after I do that, I'm going to immediately contact you back and let you know, Hey, I just reached out to your client. Um, and text them and they didn't respond, I'll let you know when they respond. I try again later that day and then the next day and things like that. It normally doesn't take that long because if anybody's serious about purchasing a home, mm -hmm. um, they're going to reach back out to me that day okay. or text me back and say, hey, I'm at work. I'm going to call you back because I'm going to send a uh, text message and say, hey, this is Xavier from Bank OSDK. Mm -hmm. Your realtor, Marcia Fagan, said you were looking to purchase a home. Please call me back as soon as you're available. Very you good. know, and I'll send them my information and then they'll contact me back um, once they are ready, um, and I talk to them and I do like a little screening, mm -hmm. I'll send them my, um, application. They'll fill it out online, um, and get it back to me. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll run every inform all the information and we'll have results to them within 24 hours. It never really takes 24 hours, but within 24 hours, they'll, um, get information on if they qualify, mm -hmm. you know, what they qualify for. Um, things like that. Sometimes I might need to request documents if someone's self-employed and stuff to really get their income together. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll get that information within 24 hours um, or less. Okay. All right. Very good. Now, do you have anything that we can physically share or send to our clients about this, this particular freedom? What is that? I want to make sure I'm saying it right. So when I talk about <laughs> freedom. freedom Advantage yeah. Mortgage, Yes, so, ma'am. So, yes, I have a flyer for that. Okay. Um, so I'll make sure that I email it to everybody. Latoya, I'll send it to you. But if you want to send me an email list, I'll make sure I get it out to everybody individually, yes. uh, whichever way works best for you. Yeah, but I'll, I'll send you I'll, a I'll list get... of everybody's email address. That way you can build that individual relationship with them as Perfect. well. Yeah, so I'll send that to you all. So you have that. You can send to clients. Um, again, if you just want someone to talk about it you can always send them to me um we can do three-way calls i mean whatever works best for you some people's system is, is they'll send the email mm -hmm. um with the client cc on it to me and then i'll reach back out to them that way whatever way works best for you mm -hmm. and then also i didn't mention this before but it's really important if for whatever reason your client just does not qualify mm -hmm. um, it's very important not only for the client but also the realtor to know why your client doesn't qualify so okay. that's one thing that I'm very big on. No client comes to me and doesn't know why they don't qualify mm -hmm. or ever is going to reach out to you and say, OK, I sent the application to Xavier and then I haven't heard back. Even mm -hmm. with them, within 24 hours, you're going to hear back and you're going to get e the client's going to get emails specifically why you don't qualify, what you need to do to qualify, how long it would take you to qualify. Mm -hmm. And then because sometimes clients, um, you know, 
I'll BC, I'll, I'll send that email over to the realtor as well. So the realtor would know as well and can keep track of the client. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. That's excellent. And I think we need that because a lot of times we don't necessarily know. And sometimes mm -hmm. an agent may say, you know, it's it's confidential or whatever. And okay, that's understandable. But at least we can understand why um, they didn't get approved and moving forward, we'll know what to do to work with them to get them um, Absolutely. approved for a home. So Absolutely. Wonderful. Xavier, thank you. If you is if there are any more programs you want to share before we let you get your time back in the office, um, that was the main one. As I said, you know I've been doing this forever, so no matter what you need, um, you can call me for absolutely everything that your client might possibly need. Okay. And as I say, I'm a good referral base as well. If it's something that I don't have or I can't do, mm -hmm. I always am going to be able to tell you. Oh, I know who I can get you to for that. Um, even when it comes to refinances or home equity line of credits, we do, we're do we big on those as well. Mm -hmm. So no matter what your client needs, contact me and I'll be able to help you or direct you to what you need. Very good. Thank you so much, Xavier, for your time. You're welcome. I hope and yes. pray that all of us can get some closings with you this Let's year going forward. Let's do it. <laughs> but thank you for sharing your time with us. You're welcome. I hope everybody has a blessed day and thanks for your time. All right. We'll talk to you soon yeah. and I'll send you an email right. shortly. Perfect. Sounds good. Talk to you all soon. You're all welcome. Right.